What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back for another episode. I'm going to get straight to the point. I've had a lot of people hit me up about this. I um, had some people emailing me and asking questions about whether or not I make it, um, if I sell it. Well, the answer is no. I don't. I don't make it. This right here, I bought this. I'll, I'll just show you guys. So I bought this off Amazon. It's just a cup holder. This came off Amazon. Um, this Pacific Sun. Just their pliers. Cuts braid. Gets hooks out. That's great. So this part, all this right here, came off Amazon. You can buy that. But I'm going to show you guys exactly what all I got going on here. And you guys can build one of your own. Um, fairly simple. If it was me, I think this is a two inch pipe, uh, 80, I'd use an 80 gauge, which, uh, let's see. So that, so they make a 40 and an 80. I would go with the 80. Uh, I think this one is actually aluminum and here is what I got. <clears throat> so I've, I got this, it was a computer monitor stand and it came with the brackets that go around the pipe. So this, I actually have an extra one. I was gonna use this as a spider rigging system and mount it up and put spider uh, rigging pole holders on here. So I'm gonna give you guys the exact measurements that I got. Let me find my tape measure. Boom, got one. So I'm gonna give you guys the exact measurements of what I've got going on here. Now, not a lot of people, this holds, it will hold a 16 inch. This is the 76 16. Whenever I'm driving to go across the lake, if the water's rough, I will take this off. I don't wanna take a chance of knocking it off cause it, it will wobble. That is mainly from the decks not connected to anywhere up front. So this whole part right here, I mean, it, it's really sturdy, but for a 16 inch to be sitting up here, it, it gets after it. When I'm just trolling around, it doesn't bother it. But I'm going to give you guys the measurements. You guys can build it. I have an idea on how to build this part. Now, mine is adjustable. I can move it up and down. I could actually bring it below where my wires come in, which is right here. I've got the rubber around here. You, basically, you're just going to drill a hole in it. I've got them. They come out down here. So they ran, <clears throat> they ran up the tube and connected to the unit, which I have it hooked up right now. Normally this right here stays inside my house. I don't leave it in the shop, but there it is. That is the 7616 right here, folks. I've only showed it one time in one other video and I love it. This thing is awesome. It is huge. It is gigantic for live scoping. And normally I have it on uh, my live scope, I have a pole holder made by Sea Light called Sea Fish, and it goes here and comes off the side of the boat. And I love it. Whenever the fish get on brush piles, I will put it back on, move the transducer over to it. But right now, I am tracking down fish, so don't need it right now. It is actually on the Altrex. So back to the, what we're doing here. I'll show you guys what I got going on. <clears throat> These are 3 8 bolts. They're going all the way through my deck with uh, locking washers on the bottom and nuts, uh, the locking nuts. So it's sucked up to the actual decking. But this right here, let me turn this camera around. All right, so you're looking at a six inch plate by five inch because it actually ends right here somewhere. It probably goes to here. So basically it's a five by six. Yeah, you could call it five and a quarter maybe. But six inches by five and a quarter. <clears throat> if it was me, I would probably, this one right here, I can take it off, but it also causes it some of the wobbleness in the pole. That's why I put this in here to uh, lock it down. So it has a lock nut in holding this. I just take this out. I can actually unhook all this, pull all this wire out. I can, I can remove this whole pole 
So if you go to your local um, metal shop or probably tractor supply, if you get a two inch pipe and take it and have it threaded, you could actually weld this onto the plate and then tap it with a hole drill and then cut your hole right here to run the wires up. Okay, so next, the height that I went with is 29 inches. I basically just cut that off when I put it on here because it was taller than that. And I, where I thought I needed it, I didn't measure it to 29 inches, but 29 inches seems to be a really good height. I also bought a pipe plug to go over the top of it. If it was me and I was gonna do it, I'd probably just weld a plate on it and then grind it smooth, paint this whole thing black. So when it comes to this, this is where it will get tricky because this is where I had the part from the computer mount. This right here, I just drilled holes through this that mounted to the actual bracket. And then this right here goes on the pole that came with it. But if it was me, I would probably just come down to about 28 inches. Get me, I would probably get like um, a two inch by one inch square tubing, just a long pipe. Cut it however long your Garmin bracket is. Like I said, that's a 16 inch. I got the nine inch. This is what was originally on here. Just however long you need that two inch by one inch square tubing i would like i said i would weld over the end the end of the tubing um, paint it black get you a u-bolt and just drill two holes through it and mount it on here um, and then take and drill four holes for your bracket and then boom you could move it up and down or you could just weld it straight to the pipe and then it would be permanent. But like I said, I've got mine threaded, so it actually, I can unscrew this and I, I can take this whole, I can take this whole bracket off of my boat completely if I'm not wanting to go out and use the live scope. <clears throat> I always use the live scope fishing, but we do other things as a family in my boat. Uh, we go to the river, we go swimming, all kinds of stuff when I actually don't go fishing, but that's that. I'll take that thing off and I won't even take it with me when we go swimming at the river. But basically that's all I got. Um, if you guys got any questions, hit me up down in the comments below. Got any other ideas on maybe even making this thing better? Let me know. Um, I've got a support bracket that comes down here and it comes up and attaches to the bottom. It comes all the way through here that supports the decking because this is all one big open hole. It's attached all down the sides, but <clears throat> that's why I got a little bit of wobble in it whenever, you know, I can, it's not going nowhere by any means. And I've got some big washers on the bottom. It would basically have to break my whole freaking uh, front deck, but it ain't going anywhere. It's on there. It works great. I love it. Um, can't wait to get back out and use it. I'm about to go work for four days in a row and then maybe Friday I'll get to go out and use it. Uh, I went fishing Saturday on Lake Hudson here in Oklahoma and that lake just stumps me every time. I don't know what the deal is. I couldn't even find them on live scope. I wanted to go to the river but I took my brother-in-law with me. We did a little family hanging out. I hadn't seen him in a while. So the main lake, the fish just weren't there. But I'm done rambling. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, like I said, any questions, email me, uh, message me, whatever you got. I got a Facebook page. I've also got my personal page. Uh, most people can find it's the internet these days, but uh, you can private message me on uh, Messenger. I got an Instagram account. I will link that down in here somewhere in the description box. Go to my Instagram, my Facebook page. Uh, YouTube, any of that stuff, hit me up. Um, I'm not selling it. I do know some people that make something similar. They're pretty pricey. You can build this for pretty cheap, I believe. But um, there are some people that make really nice mounts. They make the double stand mount with like 
uh, that holds two units. So you could have two fish finders on there. Of course, you wouldn't want to put a 16 inch it, along with another, another one, but um, yeah. So like I said, you guys be sure hit me up, whatever you want. I'll answer your questions with anything that I can. And that's all I got. So until next time, don't forget, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs down button, whatever. You don't like my videos, you don't like me, that's cool. Uh, hit that thumbs down button, it helps the channel. So you guys have a good day, have a blessed day, and we will see you guys on the next video.